Since its inception in 1947, Formula One has used a variety of engine regulations. Formulas Limiting engine capacity had been used in Grand Prix racing on a regular basis since after World War I. The engine formulae are divided according to era. Operation Formula One currently uses 1.6-liter four-stroke turbocharged 90-degree V6 reciprocating engines. They were introduced in 2014 and have been modified over the past seasons. The power a Formula One engine produces is generated by operating at a very high rotational speed, up to 15,000 revolutions per minute RPM. This contrasts with road car engines of a similar size which typically operate at less than 6,000 revolutions per minute. The basic configuration of a naturally aspirated Formula One engine had not been greatly modified since the 1967 Cosworth DFV and the mean effective pressure had stayed at around 14 bars MEP. Until the mid-1980s Formula One engines were limited to around 12,000 revolutions per minute due to the traditional metal valve springs used to close the valves. The speed required to operate the engine valves at a higher RPM called for ever stiffer springs, which increased the power loss to drive the camshaft and the valves to the point where the loss nearly offset the power gain through the increase in RPM. They were replaced by pneumatic valve springs introduced by Renault, which inherently have a rising rate, progressive rate that allowed them to have extremely high spring rate at larger valve strokes without much increasing the driving power requirements at smaller strokes, thus lowering the overall power loss. Since the 1990s, all Formula One engine manufacturers used pneumatic valve springs with the pressurized air allowing engines to reach speeds of over 20,000 revolutions per minute. <laughs> Short-stroke engine Formula One cars use short-stroke engines. To operate at high engine speeds, the stroke must be relatively short to prevent catastrophic failure, usually from the connecting rod, which is under very large stresses at these speeds. Having a short stroke means a relatively large bore is required to reach a 1.6 liter displacement. This results in a less efficient combustion stroke, especially at lower RPM. The stroke of a Formula One engine is approximately 39.7 mm in, less than half the 80 mm in bore diameter, what is known as an over-square configuration. In addition to the use of pneumatic valve springs a Formula One engine's high RPM output has been made possible due to advances in metallurgy and design, allowing lighter pistons and connecting rods to withstand the accelerations necessary to attain such high speeds. Improved design also allows narrower connecting rod ends and so narrower main bearings. This permits higher RPM with less bearing damaging heat buildup. For each stroke, the piston goes from a virtual stop to almost twice the mean speed approximately 40 meters per second, then back to zero. This occurs once for each of the four strokes in the cycle, one intake down, one compression up, one power ignition down, one exhaust up. Maximum piston acceleration occurs at top dead center and is in the region of 95,000 meters per square second, about 10,000 times standard gravity, 10,000 grams. Topic: History. Formula One engines have come through a variety of regulations, manufacturers and configurations through the years. Topic 1947 to 1953 
This era used pre-war Voiturette engine regulations, with 4.5L atmospheric and 1.5L supercharged engines. The Indianapolis 500, which was a round of the World Drivers' Championship from 1950 onwards, used pre-war Grand Prix regulations with 4.5L atmospheric and 3.0L supercharged engines. The power range was up to 425 horsepower, 317 kilowatts, though the BRM Type 15 of 1953 reportedly achieved 600 horsepower, 447 kilowatts with a 1.5L supercharged engine. In 1952 and 1953, the World Drivers' Championship was run to Formula 2 regulations, but the existing Formula 1 regulations remained in force and a number of Formula 1 races were still held in those years. Topic: 1954 to 1960 Naturally aspirated engine size was reduced to 2.5L and supercharged cars were limited to 750 cc. No constructor built a supercharged engine for the World Championship. The Indianapolis 500 continued to use old pre-war regulations. The power range was up to 290 horsepower, 216 kilowatts. Topic: 1961 to 1965. Introduced in 1961 amidst some criticism, the new reduced engine 1.5L formula took control of F1 just as every team and manufacturer switched from front to mid-engine cars. Although these were initially underpowered, five years later average power had increased by nearly 50% and lap times were better than in 1960. The old 2.5L formula had been retained for international formula racing, but this didn't achieve much success until the introduction of the Tasman series in Australia and New Zealand during the winter season, leaving the 1.5L cars as the fastest single-seaters in Europe during this time. The power range was between 150 horsepower, 112 kilowatts, and 225 horsepower, 168 kilowatts. Topic 1966 to 1986 In 1966, with sports cars capable of outrunning Formula One cars thanks to much larger and more powerful engines, the FIA increased engine capacity to 3.0L atmospheric and 1.5L compressed engines. Although a few manufacturers had been clamoring for bigger engines, the transition wasn't smooth and 1966 was a transitional year, with 2.0L versions of the BRM and Coventry Climax V8 engines being used by several entrants. The appearance of the standard produced Cosworth DFV in 1967 made it possible for small manufacturers to join the series with a chassis designed in-house. Compression devices were allowed for the first time since 1960, but it wasn't until 1977 that a company actually had the finance and interest of building one, when Renault debuted their new Gordini V6 Turbo at the British Grand Prix at Silverstone that year. In 1980 Renault proved that turbocharging was the way to go in order to stay competitive in Formula One particularly at high-altitude circuits like Kyalami in South Africa and Interlagos in Brazil, this engine had a considerable power advantage against the Ford Cosworth DFV, Ferrari and Alfa Romeo naturally aspirated engines. Following this, Ferrari introduced their all-new turbocharged engine in 1981. Following these developments, Brabham owner Bernie Eccleston managed to get BMW to make the team turbocharged inline four engines from 1982 onwards. And in 1983, Alfa Romeo made a turbocharged V8 engine, and in the same year and following years, Honda, Porsche, badged as TAG, Ford Cosworth and other smaller companies made turbocharged engines, mostly twin turbocharged V6s. 
By the midpoint of 1985, every competing team had a turbocharged engine in their car. By 1986, power figures were reaching unprecedented levels, with all engines reaching over 1,000 horsepower during qualifying with unrestricted turbo boost pressures. This was especially seen with the BMW engines of Benetton's cars, reaching around 1,350 horsepower at a 5.5 bars boost pressure during qualifying. However, these engines and gearboxes were very unreliable because of the engine's immense power, and would only last about four laps. For the race, the turbocharger's boost was restricted to ensure engine reliability, but, the engines still produced 850 to 1,000 horsepower during the race. The power range from 1966 to 1986 was between 285 horsepower, 210 kilowatts to 500 horsepower, 370 kilowatts, turbos 500 horsepower, 370 kilowatts to 900 horsepower, 670 kilowatts in race in qualifying up to 1350 horsepower, 1010 kilowatts. Following their experiences at Indianapolis, Indiana 1971 Lotus made a few unsuccessful experiments with a Pratt & Whitney turbine fitted to chassis which had also 4 WD. Topic: 1987-1988 Following the turbo domination, forced induction was allowed for two seasons before its eventual ban. The FIA regulations limited boost pressure, to four bars in qualifying in 1987 for 1.5 L turbo, and allowed a bigger 3.5 L formula. These seasons were still dominated by turbocharged engines, the Honda RA167 EV6 supplying Nelson Piquet winning the 1987 Formula One season on a Williams also winning the Constructors' Championship, followed by tag Porsche P01 V6 in McLaren then Honda again with the previous RA166 E for Lotus then Ferrari's own 033 DV6. The rest of the grid was powered by the Ford GBA V6 turbo in Benetton, with the only naturally aspirated engine, the DFV-derived Ford Cosworth DFZ 3.5 LV8 outputting 575 horsepower 429 kilowatts in Tyrrell, Lola, AGS, March and Colony. The BMW M12-13 inline-4 was found in Brabham's BT55 tilted almost horizontally, and in upright position under the Megatron brand in Arrows and Ligia, producing 900 bhp 670 kilowatts at 3.8 bars in race. Zakspeed was building its own turbo inline-4, Alfa Romeo was to power the Ligias with an inline-4 but the deal fell through after initial testing had been carried out. Alfa was still represented by its old 890TV8 used by a seller, and Minardi was powered by a Motori Modern I V6. The 1988 Formula One season was again dominated by turbocharged engines limited to 2.5 bars and Honda with its RA168E Turbo V6 producing 640 horsepower 477 kilowatts at 12,500 revolutions per minute in qualifying, this time with McLaren drivers Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost winning all the Grand Prix except one won by Ferrari with its 033 EV6 with about 650 horsepower 485 kilowatts at 12,800 revolutions per minute in qualifying. Just behind, Ford introduced its DFR 3.5 LV8 producing 620 horsepower 462 kilowatts at 11,000 revolutions per minute for Benetton, and the 640 horsepower 477 kilowatts Megatron BMW M12-13 was still powering arrows ahead of the Lotus Honda. 
Judd introduced its 600 horsepower, 447 kilowatts CV 3.5 LV8 for March, Williams and Ligia, and the rest of the grid was mainly using previous year's Ford 590 horsepower, 440 kilowatts Cosworth DFZ except Zack Speed with their own 640 horsepower, 477 kilowatts engine and the 700 horsepower, 522 kilowatts Alfa Romeo V8 turbo for a seller. Topic: 1989–1994 Turbochargers were banned from the 1989 Formula 1 season, leaving only a naturally aspirated 3.5L formula. Honda was still dominant with their RA109E 72 degrees V10 giving 675 horsepower 503 kilowatts at 13,000 revolutions per minute on McLaren cars, enabling Prost to win the championship in front of his teammate Senna. Behind were the Renault RS01 powered Williams, a 67 degrees V10 giving 650 horsepower, 485 kilowatts at 13,300 revolutions per minute. Ferrari with its 035 565 degrees V12 giving 660 horsepower, 492 kilowatts at 13,000 revolutions per minute. Behind, the grid was powered mainly by Ford Cosworth DFR V8 giving 620 horsepower 462 kilowatts at 10,750 revolutions per minute except for a few Judd CV V8 in Lotus, Brabham and Eurobrun cars, and two oddballs, the 620 horsepower 460 kilowatts Lamborghini 3,512 80 degrees V12 powering Lola, and the 500 60 horsepower 420 kilowatts Yamaha OX88 75 degrees V8 in Zack Speed cars Ford started to try its new design the 75 degrees V8 HBA1 with Benetton the 1990 Formula One season was again dominated by Honda in McLarens with the 690 horsepower, 515 kilowatts at 13,000 revolutions per minute RA100E powering Ayrton Senna and Gerhard Berger ahead of the 680 horsepower, 507 kilowatts at 12,750 revolutions per minute Ferrari Tipo 036 of Alan Prost and Nigel Mansell. Behind them the Ford HBA4 for Benetton and Renault 2 rupees for Williams with 660 horsepower 492 kilowatts at 12,800 revolutions per minute were leading the pack powered by Ford DFR and Judd CV engines. The exceptions were the Lamborghini 3512 in Lola and Lotus, and the new Judd F76 degrees V8 giving 640 horsepower 477 kilowatts at 12,500 revolutions per minute in Leighton House and Brabham cars. The two new contenders were the Life which built for themselves an F35 W12 with three four-cylinders banks at 60 degrees, and Subaru giving Coloni a 1235 flat 12 from Matori Modenai. Honda was still leading the 1991 Formula One season in Senna's McLaren with a 710 horsepower, 529 kilowatts at 13,000 revolutions per minute, 60 degrees V12 RA121E, just ahead of the Renault 3 rupees powered Williams, benefiting from 700 horsepower, 520 kilowatts at 12,500 revolutions per minute. Ferrari was behind with its Tipo 037, a new 65 degrees V12 giving 710 horsepower, 529 kilowatts at 13,800 revolutions per minute, also powering Minardi, just ahead the Ford HBA4, 5 sixths in Benetton and Jordan cars. Behind, Tyrrell was using the previous Honda RA109E. Judd introduced its new GV with Dallara leaving the previous EV to Lotus. Yamaha were giving its 660 horsepower, 492 kilowatts, OX9970 degrees V12 to Brabham. Lamborghini engines were used by Modena and Ligia. 
Ilmor introduced its LH10, a 680 horsepower, 507 kilowatts at 13,000 revolutions per minute V10, which eventually became the Mercedes with Leighton House and Porsche sourced a little successful 3,512 V12 to footwork arrows. The rest of the field was four DFR powered. In 1992, the Renault engines became dominant following the departure from the sport of Honda. Renault won the last three world championships of the 3.5L Formula era with Williams. By the end of the 1994 season, Ferrari's 043 was putting out 820 horsepower, 611 kilowatts at 15,800 revolutions per minute. Topic: 1995 to 2005. This era used a 3.0L formula with a power range between 650 horsepower (485 kilowatts) and 965 horsepower (720 kilowatts). Renault was the initial dominant engine supplier from 1995 until 1997, winning the first three world championships with Williams and Benetton in this era. From 1998 to 2000 it was Mercedes power that ruled giving Mika Hakkinen two world championships. Ferrari gradually got better with their engine. For 1996, they changed from their traditional V12 engine to a smaller and lighter V10 engine. They preferred reliability to power, losing out to Mercedes in terms of outright power initially. At the 1998 Japanese GP, Ferrari's 047D engine spec was said to produce over 800 bhp 600 kilowatts. From 2000 they were never short of power or reliability. BMW started supplying their engines to Williams from 2000. In the first season, the engine was very reliable though slightly short of power compared to Ferrari and Mercedes units. BMW went straight forward with its engine development. The P81, used during the 2001 season, was able to hit 17,810 revolutions per minute. Unfortunately reliability was a big issue with several blow-ups during the season. The BMW P82, the engine used by the BMW Williams F1 team in 2002, had hit a peak speed of 19,050 revolutions a minute in its final evolutionary stage. It was also the first engine in the 3.0-liter V10 era to break through the 19,000 rpm wall, during the 2002 Italian Grand Prix qualifying. BMW's P83 engine used in 2003 season managed an impressive 19,200 revolutions per minute and cleared the 900 bhp 670 kilowatts mark and weighs less than 200 pounds 91 kilograms. Honda's RA003E V10 also cleared the 900 bhp 670 kilowatts mark at the 2003 Canadian Grand Prix. In 2005, the 3.0 LV10 engine was permitted no more than five valves per cylinder. Also, the FIA introduced new regulations limiting each car to one engine per two Grand Prix weekends, putting the emphasis on increased reliability. In spite of this, power outputs continued to rise. Mercedes engines had about 930 bhp 690 kilowatts in this season. Renault, Toyota and Ferrari had about 900 bhp 670 kilowatts. BMW had about 950 bhp 710 kilowatts. Honda had about 965 bhp 720 kilowatts. Topic 2006 to 2013 
For 2006, the engines had to be 90 degrees V8 of 2.4 liters maximum capacity with a circular bore of 98 mm (3.9 in) maximum, which implies a 39.8 mm (1.57 in) stroke at maximum bore. The engines must have two inlet and two exhaust valves per cylinder, be normally aspirated and have a 95 kg £209 minimum weight. The previous year's engines with a rev limiter were permitted for 2006 and 2007 for teams who were unable to acquire a V8 engine, with Scuderia Toro Rosso using a Cosworth V10, after Red Bull's takeover of the former Minardi team did not include the new engines. The 2006 season saw the highest rev limits in the history of Formula One, before a 19,000 revolutions per minute mandatory rev limiter was implemented for all competitors in 2007. Cosworth was able to achieve 20,000 revolutions per minute with their V8. Honda did the same, albeit only on the dyno. Pre-cooling air before it enters the cylinders, injection of any substance other than air and fuel into the cylinders, variable geometry intake and exhaust systems, and variable valve timing were forbidden. Each cylinder could have only one fuel injector and a single plug spark ignition. Separate starting devices were used to start engines in the pits and on the grid. The crankcase and cylinder block had to be made of cast or wrought aluminium alloys. The crankshaft and camshafts had to be made from an iron alloy, pistons from an aluminium alloy and valves from alloys based on iron, nickel, cobalt or titanium. These restrictions were in place to reduce development costs on the engines. The reduction in capacity was designed to give a power reduction of around 20% from the 3 liter engines, to reduce the increasing speeds of Formula One cars. Despite this, in many cases, performance of the car improved. In 2006, Toyota F1 announced an approximate 740 horsepower, 552 kilowatts output at 18,000 revolutions per minute for its new RVX06 engine, but real figures are of course difficult to obtain. The engine specification was frozen in 2007 to keep development costs down. The engines which were used in the 2006 Japanese Grand Prix were used for the 2007 and 2008 seasons and they were limited to 19,000 revolutions per minute. In 2009 the limit was reduced to 18,000 revolutions per minute with each driver allowed to use a maximum of eight engines over the season. Any driver needing an additional engine is penalized 10 places on the starting grid for the first race the engine is used. This increases the importance of reliability, although the effect is only seen towards the end of the season. Certain design changes intended to improve engine reliability may be carried out with permission from the FIA. This has led to some engine manufacturers, notably Ferrari and Mercedes, exploiting this ability by making design changes which not only improve reliability, but also boost engine power output as a side effect. As the Mercedes engine was proven to be the strongest, re-equalizations of engines were allowed by the FIA to allow other manufacturers to match the power. 2009 saw the exit of Honda from Formula One. The team was acquired by Ross Braun, creating Braun GP and the BGP-001. With the absence of the Honda engine, Braun GP retrofitted the Mercedes engine to the BGP-001 chassis. The newly branded team won both the Constructors' Championship and the Drivers' Championship from better known and better established contenders Ferrari, McLaren Mercedes, and Renault. Cosworth, absent since the 2006 season, returned in 2010. New teams Lotus Racing, HRT, and Virgin Racing, along with the established Williams, used this engine. The season also saw the withdrawal of the BMW and Toyota engines, as the car companies withdrew from Formula One due to the recession. 
In 2009, constructors were allowed to use kinetic energy recovery systems (CERS), also called regenerative brakes. Energy can either be stored as mechanical energy, as in a flywheel, or as electrical energy, as in a battery or supercapacitor, with a maximum power of 81 horsepower (60 kilowatts, 82 PS). Four teams used it at some point in the season, Ferrari, Renault, BMW, and McLaren. Although Kurs was still legal in F1 in the 2010 season, all the teams agreed not to use it. Kurs returned for the 2011 season, when only three teams elected not to use it. For the 2012 season, only Marussia and HRT raced without Kurs, and in 2013 all teams on the grid had Kurs. From 2010 to 2013 cars have a regular power of 700 to 800 horsepower. Topic: 2014 present. The FIA announced the intention to change the 2.4-litre V8 engines to 1.6-litre V6 turbo engines for the 2014 season. The new regulations include multiple energy recovery systems and fuel flow restrictions, to attract more commercial partners. They sounded very different due to the brand new MGUH and MGUK hybrid units. A 1.6-litre turbocharged unit was produced to replace the naturally aspirated units. The new formula reintroduced turbocharged engines, which last appeared in 1988. These have their efficiency improved by turbo compounding and introduce more energy recovery systems, with power to be harvested from the brakes and exhaust gases. The original proposal for four cylinder turbocharged engines was not welcomed by the racing teams, in particular Ferrari. Adrian Newey stated during the 2011 European Grand Prix that the change to a V6 enables teams to carry the engine as a stressed member, whereas an inline four would have required a space frame. A compromise was reached to adopt V6 turbocharged engines instead. The internal combustion engines are limited to 15,000 revolutions per minute, but rarely exceed 12,000 revolutions per minute during Grand Prix due to the new reliability and fuel flow restrictions. Energy recovery systems such as KERS had a boost of 160 horsepower and 2 MJ per lap. KERS was renamed Motor Generator Unit Kinetic (MGUK). Heat energy recovery systems were also allowed, under the name Motor Generator Unit Heat The 2015 season was an improvement on 2014, adding to most engines about 30 to 50 horsepower 20 to 40 kilowatts, the Mercedes engine being the most powerful with 870 horsepower 649 kilowatts. Of the previous suppliers, only Mercedes, Ferrari and Renault produced engines to the new formula in 2014, whereas Cosworth stopped supplying engines. Honda returned in 2015 with their own engine, while McLaren used Honda power changing from Mercedes power in 2014. <laughs> 2021 and beyond In 2017, the FIA began negotiations with existing constructors and potential new manufacturers over the next generation of engines with a projected introduction date of 2021. The initial proposal was designed to simplify engine designs, cut costs, promote new entries and address criticisms directed at the 2014 generation of engines. It called for the 1.6 LV6 configuration to be retained, but abandoned the complex motor generator unit heat system. The motor generator unit kinetic would be more powerful, with a greater emphasis on driver deployment and a more flexible introduction to allow for tactical use. The proposal also called for the introduction of standardized components and design parameters to make components produced by all manufacturers compatible with one another in a system dubbed, 
plug in and play. A further proposal to allow four wheel drive cars was also tabled, with the front axle driven by an MGUK unit as opposed to the traditional drive shaft that functioned independently of the MGUK providing power to the rear axle, mirroring the system developed by Porsche for the 919 hybrid sports car. Engine specification progression Note Topic: Current engine technical specifications Topic: Combustion, construction, operation, power, fuel and lubrication Manufacturers, Mercedes-Benz, Renault including Tag Heuer rebadging until 2018, Ferrari and Honda Type, hybrid-powered four-stroke piston auto cycle inter-cooled with efficiency combustion process and greater emission engine burning Configuration, V6 single hybrid turbocharger engine V angle, 90 degrees cylinder angle Displacement 1.6L 98 cu in bore maximum 80 mm 3 in stroke 53 mm 2 in valve train DOHC 24 valve 4 valves per cylinder fuel 98 to 102 ron unleaded gasoline plus 5.75% biofuel fuel delivery direct fuel injection Fuel injection pressure, 500 bars 7,252 psi, 493 atmospheres, 375,031 tor, 50,000 kilopascals, 14,765 inhg Fuel flow limit, 100 kg per hour minus 40% Aspiration, single turbocharged Power output 875 minus 1000 plus 160 horsepower 652 to 746 plus 119 kilowatts at 15000 revolutions per minute. Torque approximately 400 to 500 Nm 295 to 369 feet pound. Lubrication dry sump. Maximum revs, 15,000 revolutions per minute Engine management, McLaren TAG 320 Max. Speed, 370 km per hour 230 miles per hour Monza, Baku and Mexico, 340 km per hour 211 miles per hour Normal tracks Cooling, single water pump Ignition, high energy inductive. Topic: <laughs> Forced induction and push to pass. Turbocharger weight: 8 kilograms, 18 pounds, depending on the turbine housing used. Turbocharger spin rev limit: 125,000 revolutions per minute. Pressure charging, single stage compressor and exhaust turbine, common shaft Turbo boost level pressure, unlimited but mainly typical 4 to 5 bars 58.02 to 72.52 psi, 3.95 to 4.93 atmospheres, 3000.25 to 3750.31 tor, 400.00 to 500.00 kilopascals, 118.12 to 147. 65 inhg absolute wastegate maximum of 2 electronic or pneumatic controlled topic ers systems mguk rpm max 50000 revolutions per minute mguk power max 120 kilowatts Energy recovered by MGUK, max 2 MJ, lap 
Energy released by MGUK, max 4 MJ, LAP MGUH RPM, greater than 100,000 revolutions per minute Energy recovered by MGUH, unlimited greater than 2 MJ, LAP Topic. Records Figures correct as of the 2019 Austrian Grand Prix Bold indicates engine manufacturers that have competed in Formula 1 in the 2019 season. Topic. World Championship Grand Prix wins by engine manufacturer Carat asterisk built by Cosworth Carat asterisk asterisk between 1997 to 2005 built by Ilmore Carat asterisk 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 built by Porsche Carat asterisk 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 the Indianapolis 500 was part of the World Drivers Championship from 1950 to 1960 Carat asterisk 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 built by Renault. Topic Most wins in a season. Topic By number. Topic By percentage. Asterisk only Alberto Ascari raced in the 1952 Indianapolis 500 with Ferrari. Asterisk Asterisk Alfa Romeo did not race in the 1950 Indianapolis 500. Equals 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 most consecutive wins. <laughs>